Today we're going to have a quick tutorial on how to measure a bearing. I think here at Fast Eddie Bearings, it's probably one of the most answered questions that we that we work with daily. Uh, people they they want to know what size bearing that they need for something, um, and we can't guess. Bearings are something that are exact, and you're going to have to get the exact and proper bearing for each place that you need to use it. So we're very simply going to show you how to use a caliper to measure your bearings. So here we go. This is a digital caliper, uh, very inexpensive, all the way up to very expensive. Um, but for the hobby needs, you can get away with something that's in between, I would say 12 to $25. Um, it's a very worthy investment. Um, and again, this is a digital caliper. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn our caliper on. Make sure that it's closed. And then we're going to zero it out. Most of the calipers are going to have a, uh, a zero button on there. And we just want to make sure that when we're closed, it's zeroed out. Also, there are several different variations on these, but this one will also do millimeters or inches. So what we want to do at this point is make sure that we are set on millimeters. Very simple. Let's go ahead and grab a bearing. The first measurement is on a bearing is always the inside diameter, which is this little hole on the inside, such as ID, inside diameter. We're going to use this portion of our calipers. We'll set the bearing over the top and we'll very simply just open it up. And we're going to see that this is an eight millimeter inside dimension, eight millimeter ID. The second measurement that we want is going to be the OD or the outside diameter. So we're going to go ahead and use this portion and measure the outside diameter, which is a 16 millimeter. Okay, it's not, a lot of times it's not going to be exact because these are uh, an inexpensive set of calipers, but it's going to be very close. So 15.98, you're going to know is a 16. So again, we have the inside dimension of 8, the outside dimension as 16. And next will be the width of the bearing. So this is an 8 by 16 by 5. Very simple. Um, you can do it with small bearings or medium size, large, even very, very small bearings. We'll work on this. We can see this is a 1.5. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get these set in there. So 1.5 by 4 by 2. If you're doing it in fractions, so some bearings are fractional bearings, uh, you're going to want to use either your fractional inch settings on your caliper, or we also do have a conversion sheet on our website. Now, some bearings are what they call a flanged bearing, and you can see here that there is a flange that goes around the bearing. You're going to measure this bearing the same exact way as you do a standard bearing, and you're not going to measure the flange. The flange itself is an industry standard size. So for this one, again, we're going to measure the inside dimension, which is a 6, by the outside dimension, which is a 17, by the width, which is a 6. So again, you're going to measure this the same exact way, inside dimension, by outside dimension, by width, but do not include the flange. So that's pretty simple. Um, not a lot you can say more about measuring them. Um, again, just any hobbyist should have themselves a caliper. All right. 
that's pretty much it. Um, all your bearings, you can go to fasteddybearings.com and we'll take care of you. Thanks for watching.